The first thing we're gonna do is put the prompt into ChatGPT. So let's just do that right now. And quite quickly, ChatGPT will get to work creating our 10 multiple choice questions and showing us the answers. Let's just let ChatGPT do its magic. And when it's finished, it's really, really important to check the content of the quiz because as you may be familiar, ChatGPT has a tendency to make a few things up and can produce content which isn't accurate. So please, please, please make sure you do due diligence and check the content, make sure it's correct. The next step then is to pick this up to copy it into Notepad. So what I'm gonna do is pick up the whole quiz. I do this just by dragging and pulling all the way up. You could select all if you wanted to. Um, and make sure, uh, yeah, I've got all the questions there. So I'm going to control C for copy. Then I'm going to go to my search bar down at the bottom. I'm on the Windows 11, but you will have this on Windows 10 if you're operating on Windows 10. And I'm going to search for Notepad. And you can see that that is an app that uh, exists already pre-installed on my computer. So I'm just gonna open that. And when that is open, I'm going to paste control V the whole of the quiz into Notepad. And the reason for doing that is so that it can tidies up the configuration and we don't have the gray um, background that you may have used before, you may have seen before, if we try and copy the ChatGPT content straight into Word. Now what I wanna do before I make that copy into Word is just to tidy this up. And you'll notice here, up at the top left there that even though I've picked up the quiz it hasn't quite picked up the numbers so it's really important to add those in so and you'll see why in a moment I'll explain so let's just quickly do that so once we've got all the questions numbered we need to go through and make sure we check for correct content so um, that's what I'm going to just do now so here's a point look if we look at question two it says which of the following is not a component of the cardiovascular system and it's telling me that liver isn't but it's putting lungs in there and I would argue that lungs when we teach our students is not part of the cardiovascular system it's obviously the heart blood and blood vessels so you might want to change that to blood for example so that you get um, an accurate representation and so again be very wary of what it actually produces so having numbered all of your questions and edited out anything you don't want corrected any mistakes that chat has made when you're happy with the quality and the content of your quiz. It's now time to copy that and put it into a Word document. Again, simple way of doing that, just select anywhere in Notepad, Control A and then Control C and then go to Word, open a Word document and Control V. And that will paste it in and you'll have your multiple choice questions uniformed and ready to go. Now, the one thing that you need to be aware of as well is that you've got your answers here now you might want to delete your answers here, just take them out and delete them, or you might want to keep them, which is what I'm going to do for this point, and then we're gonna take them out once we've got them into the Microsoft form. So when we've created our document in Word, we need to make sure that we name it, give it a name, which is something which we can easily remember and we can find it. So there you can see I've called it Cardiovascular Multiple Choice Quiz, and it's in my PE Tutor documents, and then when I can save it and go and find it easily in a moment. So we'll save that. And now we're gonna put the quiz into Microsoft Forms. The next thing we need to do is go to Microsoft Forms. So you're gonna to go to Google or your preferred search engine and type in, I've just typed in MS Forms. We're looking for forms.office.com. So we go there, we'll click on the link. And then depending on whether you have an account or not, you might have to create an account or you log in with your personal account or your school account. You'll then have an interface that looks like this and we want to go to quick import there. So we're going to click quick import and you'll see that it says import your file upload from this device and you'll notice that the file size limit is 10 megabytes so we want to make sure that it's not bigger than that. Obviously in this case it won't be so we're just going to click upload from this device and that will take us to the document that we're looking for. In this case I want to go to my P tutor folder and find the particular quiz which was multiple choice cardiovascular system and then you're given a choice to make a form or a quiz in this case we want a quiz so we'll tap on quiz and then you will see that it's converting the word document into the microsoft form 
making it a quiz. This happens quite quickly as you can see and then you're told that it's completed and then you can start review. So we'll click that and now very quickly you have those questions converted into uh, a Microsoft form and in the form of a quiz and I think that's excellent. Now don't forget we need to do some editing as well here and there are a number of things we need to do. The first thing is that we need to make sure that we're given the correct response. So what we want to do is, as you can see there, that's already been ticked, which is great. And it always looks like it's already been done, which is really good. So it's identified which the correct response is, which is fantastic. If that isn't the case, you need to make sure that you go ahead and just click on any of the questions and identify which is the correct response by clicking there. Okay, now let's go back up to the top as well, because what we need to do, you'll remember, we kept the correct response in that ChatGPT told us about initially. So in this case, I want to go and I want to get rid of the response there and tidy that up. Okay, now in each question as well, what I want to do is give it a point. So I'm going to go point here in the point box, give it one. I also like to make sure every question is required so that students have to do it. And then click on the three ellipses here. And then I like to shuffle the options. So that means when the question appears, it's not always in the same uh, order there. Let's just do one more for you. So we click on that. Uh, we know that the liver is the correct response. I'm just going to tidy that up, give it one point. Uh, make it required and then shuffle the answers and then you need to go through that for each of the questions and when you've done that you are ready to publish your quiz and the way we do that is by clicking collect responses copy the link that you are given and send that out to your students and that is how very quickly and easily you can use chat gbt to create a quiz multiple choice quiz pop it into forms tidy it up and then you're good to go it's a massive time saver i hope you've really enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to subscribe give me a like and you'll be notified when you get more videos just like this